This number talk strategy is called breaking factors into smaller factors for multiplication. We're going to take a look at the problem 8 times 25 again. When having your students break them into smaller factors, they can take the 8 and create 2 times 4. Then they're going to want to times it by 25. So they pull down the 25. So if they're able to do 25 times 2 easier, they can get the answer 50 and then times the 50 from the 4 left over. 50 times 4 equals 200. Another way the students can do it is to break up the factor 25 into smaller factors. So they could do 8 times 5 times 5. This comes from the number 25. So then they can do 8 times 5, which is 40. And then they're going to need to times the 40 by the 5. So if they need to, they can use the 4 and 5 in the tens, or the ones place in the tens place, that equals 20. 4 times 5 is 20. But then they're going to need to carry over that 0. It was a placeholder. So your answer is actually 200, because the question was 40 times 5.